hello good evening once again welcome to svtv chat on superview tv svtv africa on all our social media platforms on facebook svtv africa on twitter instagram and our youtube channel svtv africa my name is Evan samelga 4th of august 2018 saturday Charlie. Last night I really had fun and you know the fun continues this evening after the work you know so you also have to have fun thank god we are alive and we are still kicking uh, thanks to my executive producer DJ Nyame uh, in the studios with me and Mr Click he is clicking everything he sees around he is also here with us and then my uh, sponsors Papa's Pizza and Kiki Bees Papa's Pizza please it's Saturday saturday like this you just have to go to any joint purpose pizza joint get that hot pizza with a solid drink after that you come to kiki Bees and refresh yourself relax with your loved ones and you guys have fun you have to chill Charlie saturday when you're hungry you have to do something that's right so uh, the show is on today we have um some interviews that we're coming to do right here on svtv africa and um some two interviews you have to uh interview an interview with the consultant of Ghana Music Awards UK, Tracy Frankville. We're coming to talk to him, uh, to her rather, to speak, uh, to you know, explain to us what is going on uh, for the awards. The awards will be happening uh, on the October 6th, 6th October in UK, uh, London. We have to know what is really happening there. You know, after this one, we're also going to talk to... Um, Dinah Hamilton after we've spoken uh, we've spoken with um, 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 the consultant of Ghana Music Awards UK so you know this is the show you have to enjoy relax sit wherever you have to sit just be on your phone and you know let's have a chit chat whatever any kind of question you want to ask uh, Dinah Hamilton any kind of question you have for Tracy Frankville the consultant of Ghana Music Awards UK bring it up we are also ready we are going to ask her and she have to answer us you have to know what is going on she's going to do that for us she's ready to speak to us and we know what is really going to happen to that um that it was launched here in ghana uh some few months ago where you know it was fun you know lots of people were there we the media press men we were there to cover it it was very very interesting from there um the nom the shortlist of the nominees were, was done in um uh, uk and then after that we are all waiting for the big show the awards itself coming on 6th of october 6th of october 2018 october is a hot month where we're going to see all the stars there in um uk i'm going to see what is going to happen over there and we just uh, hope that all goes well um i have on the phone um yes i have on the line tracy frankville tracy frankville i don't know whether i have the pronunciation of their surname right but i'm sure it is right I, I, is it right thank you so. is the pronunciation it's correct. yes it's correct oh fantastic you're looking beautiful to this night Thank you very much. <laughs> wow, wow. Where are you based now? Thank you. Where, where are you? Ka Ka Come again. I'm based in the Netherlands and I'm based within the Netherlands and the UK. Oh, okay, okay, fantastic. I hope um, the Ghanaian community there and everyone is fine. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yes, they're really good. It's a great community in London and also in the Netherlands. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. Ah, she, I can't even get down with you. Where you call me? I don't need to call me. No, no. If I need to call me, call me. Call me. Come on. Eh, oh, okay. But call me. I say call now. Call me if you call me. Because call me in Yawa. I'm a calling you. I'm a calling you. Okay, that's right. No, okay, okay, okay. Ghana, Jimmy. Oh, Ghana, be you. No, but no, Ghana, be a celebrity. This is a kebako. Ganujibu. Uh, oh, okay. I go to the lama and I lo I lo the teshi. Tapping the teshi. Beshi. 
Yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But often one Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, that's right. Now let's talk to um let's pick about the awards itself. Um the launch was done in Ghana yes. yeah, some months back and then the um, uh, nominees uh, shortlist was also done in UK. Um I was I was not there. But how did the uh, nominee shortlist went? Yes, so we opened, we had the launch on the 18th of May um, at the Iwata Hotel in Ghana. Uh, we had the pleasure of a lot of distinguished members, media members join uh, on that day. And it was a wonderful launch, we had a great turnout. Um, after we returned to London, we then opened up for submissions. And submissions was opened between the year of April, uh, 3rd of April, 2017 to April 2018. We had loads of people submit. Um, after submissions, we then closed to then obviously go through the nominations uh, and select individuals. Now, the nominations were selected by a team, board members in the UK and also some members in Ghana. And there were a variety of group criteria that they looked at selecting nominees for this year's award shows. And that included the song being uh, released within that submission calendar year. And also that included how effective that song was, how popular it is, the number of hits, and so forth. So with all those criteria and more, we then drew up the list of nominees, which was published uh, two weeks ago. So voting is now open, and you can vote for your artists or songs or best videos. We have 31 categories you can vote for, wow. and all these categories are available on our website. Oh, okay. Interesting. That is huge. 31 categories to vote from. You know, I, I, that would be headache for, you know, the fans. It wouldn't be easy task at all. But then, um, talking about the... No Absolutely. Yeah, T talking about the nominee, the nominations. Um, we know a lot of uh, big stars in Ghana here are in there, but some of the um, uh, nominees, the, the artists based in UK, we don't know some of the names. Some of the names are kind of I've not seen some before. How are they? Are they musicians that are top notch there in UK? Absolutely, and you know, a lot of times people say, oh, but you know, this artist is doing great in, in, in Ghana, why are they not nominated? And I think it's important that we recognize it's Ghana Music UK, yes, it's the same industry, but the market is a completely different market. So therefore, if a particular song in Ghana is extremely popular, that doesn't necessarily mean because it's popular in Ghana, it will be popular in the UK. So we have to be committed to also promoting and recognizing the Ghanaian artists based in the UK that have good performance songs as well. So we obviously have to consider Ghanaian artists as well because in fact it's Ghana Music Awards. Uh, but it's also important that there are a large majority of UK artists that are also recognized for the work they're doing and we do so by selecting them for nomination oh okay 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 now uh, 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 interestingly um i know of reggie and Bully my, uh, myself you know who yeah. has been doing they have been doing great over there in uk but talking about yeah. the names that we don't know um how will Ghanaians, uh, apart from those who are in uk those who are in ghana mm -hmm. who want to vote how mm -hmm. are they going to vote for this, these people, especially when they have not been able to cut across to Ghana? Well, it's very important when you're voting to be true, first of all, to who you're voting to. So we're not expecting you to vote for all the 31 categories. We are saying vote for your favorite artists. Vote for the ones that you know. As much as those Ghanaian voters that are voting by text or voting online will vote for their most popular artists, whether it's um, who it may be, or most popular videos or most popular groups, um, in that same instance, you will have individuals in the UK also voting for their popular British and UK artists. So, I mean, in that sense, what we encourage is for you to vote on the basis of who is your favorite, you know. Um, if you, let's say, you wanted to vote for uh, some 
artists in the UK that you may not know, would recommend you probably know their songs. So maybe just have a quick look at the artist or at the song, there's lots of nominations. If you recognise it and you realise, oh yeah, this is the song okay, so, I so, and you didn't know the artist, so, you so, the, them. so this is where um, the organisers, Ghana Music Awards UK, we need you because uh, in as much as we can vote for the people that we know, the artists that we know ourselves, you can also help promote the the ones we don't know in UK for us in Ghana to be able to vote for them. Absolutely. I completely agree with you. This is why we have online presence for this year's award show. And we urge our fans, we urge our supporters, we urge the media, go onto our social media pages. We're Instagram, we're Facebook, we're Twitter, we're online at www.gmauk.co.uk. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at GH Music Awards UK. Take, 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 the, we will, take the website so, again. Take the web, website again. So the website <laughs> is gmauk. gmauk.co.uk. gmauk.co.uk. G-M-A-U-K Okay dot co dot UK Okay, okay Oh Yeah, so go on our website You know, we're very interactive with all our um, All our fans We're very interactive with all our supporters And sponsors and media And everyone Oh, 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 oh. We've lost Tracy Tracy uh, Frankville She is a consultant for Ghana um music awards uk uh we have to sp we are speaking to her and you know she's already started telling us uh, how the nominees list went and you know uh it was great you know having all this top-notch artists on board uh over there but then in ghana uh we don't know some of the big artists we have to, uh, uh, some of the young young arts in um uk we have to know how uh, we have to know them and then know how uh, we're going to vote for them. And she's, you know, explaining about that, what they are doing. You know, so she have been, she's, she's already put the website out there. Uh, the name of the, uh, that's I think, uh, gmauk.co.uk. You know, we, I was, we have to get her back online and then she was going to explain to us what is the, uh, how uh, will be the, you know, how will you know, that you have artist A, artist B, artist so and so, and then you know how to vote for them. We we, we hope it goes well. I guess Seth, that is the date. Um, sorry, October Seth. October Seth, that is the day for uh, the um, awards. We praying it goes well. And then um, meanwhile, as we waiting for her call, let let me uh, take a look at how the nominations are. High life song of the year. We have selfish by Kim Promise, Bronya by Wuta. Odo by Kiddy, Angela by Kwame Eugene, Over by r 2 bs uh, Ma Amishe from Ebony, Betweena from Kumi Guitar, Yawa from Nerox, and then um, that is for the High Life Song of the Year. We have eight artists there, you know, <laughs> would it be easy at all? And then when I go to the Gospel Song of the Year, Gospel Song of the Year, these are the nominees. Um, This is how it looks like. Um, Boot for Boot from Joyce Blessing. Boot for Boot from Joyce Blessing. Obinya Nimio from Patience Nyako Obinya Nimi, that's a fatal from Nasim. And then we have Adam from Empress Gift Your Say. We have um Jehovah Jehovah from um Sesi Chum and then Aseda from Ebony. You know, may her so rest in peace. She's here in the nomination. And then when I go to the third uh nominees list, this is how it looks like. That is the hip life song of the year hip life song of the year um starting with total cheat from fancy garden featuring sir and then we have boys boys from nasi featuring guru and then obiaji obi girl from captain planet featuring kofi kinata planting chips from r2b's is over there whilst obia one master from yapono featuring stone boy and then we have one corner Patapa featuring Raskan and uh, Mr. Loyalty. Wow. And then um, we have Pressure uh, Befau from Demptons. And then um, Akoso Mo I, I, I don't know. Akeso Moshi. Wow. This title, dear Gasmila. You really give the title to oh? Akoso Moshi from Gasmila. We hope uh, you guys are following and then you have to vote for um, those people. You know, the uh, artists you think they can win. Uh, stand a chance of winning 
your favorite artists, you have to vote for them. Or those who think that a year under review, they have good songs and they have done excellent work that they deserve to win, you have to uh, vote for them. When I go to the fourth category, that is the Reggae Dancehall Song of the Year. We have Gringo from Shatawale, uh, My Own from Samini, Bawasaba, Stone Boy, Rewind, Miss V. And then we have Gospel Artist of the Year, also goes to Joyce Blazing. And then we have um, Gospel Artist of the Year. We have Joyce Blazing, Patience Nyako, Joe Metal. We have uh, Celestine Donko, Nasi, Empress Gift Your Say, and Ernesto Puku. We go to the set uh, category, but then we have uh, Tracy back on the line. So let's speak to her and then um, see how. Let's continue from where we ended. Tracy, thanks. You are back again. Um, you were you were giving Hi. us. That's okay. <laughs> you are giving us um where we can vote um where we can uh see the you know songs of the young artists that are in uh, UK. So continue with that from for us. Yes, absolutely. So as as I was saying before, you know we've got online presence, so we've got our social media pages, we've got our website, and what we're doing over the past couple of weeks and the next couple of weeks is we're, we're profiling each and every single nominee on there by giving their details of how you can vote first of all and secondly the next stages will be posting their videos so if you're not familiar with any of these nominees that will give you the opportunity to at least familiarize yourself with what songs they've made and perhaps you will find that you may know the song but you don't know the artist or vice versa so that would give you then the opportunity to familiarize yourself with artists that you're not aware of but in the instance we do recommend to vote for the individual that you wish to vote for okay 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 that is clear but I, I, you know i'm uh, mentioning how the uh, nominees are let me go to you know the ones we actually don't know um in ghana here you know in ghana here the ones that we actually don't know let me go to the uk based and uh, um uh, UK based on covered artist of the year. Uh, we have Young CC, A4. UK based artist of the year. Okay. Uh, yeah. We have Young CC, A4, um, Gold K. We have MC Big Phil, uh, Ras Kimbobo, and then Weasel. These are names we don't know yes. in Ghana here. Personally, you know, it would be difficult for you to okay. say this particular person stands a chance of winning but you know these six names i've mentioned what is the difference how is it like who what and what have they done personally if you can take us through a bit so as i said as i said before you know um some individuals and some because of ghana music awards uk we although you may not know who these artists are in ghana in the uk they're very well known and therefore for that basis they have to be recognized through nominations or nominees um so in, in so as, as i said as well before some songs in ghana may be doing extremely well but although it's the same industry it's a different market so therefore the market in the UK is what we're also recognizing the artists within the market in the UK which is where you will find artists like you know the um, new uncovered uh, artist of the year where you'll get Young Sizzy, A4, Gold K, uh, Big Phil, Rakim, Bobo and Whistler. These artists are known in the UK and they might not be known in Ghana which why the platforms for this award show gives them that exposure to recognize what they do. That really kind of meets the objective of Ghana Music Awards because our slogan is recognizing the achievements of our musicians and through recognizing them, they will then be exposed to people like in Ghana, people in the UK, people in America, Europe, that wouldn't essentially, they wouldn't know who these people are until now they've been recognized by being nominated. So that's the whole idea. Oh, okay. Interestingly, when um, awards came... Uh, for example, this one comes on board and you see uh, one artist having a lot of um, shortlist. That is, uh, for example, Patience Nyako has been shortlisted in six categories. Does it mean yes. automatically she's going to win the overall? No, not necessarily. You know, this award is a public scheme. 
So it allows the public to have the right to vote for whom they wish to win. The voting of, is on the basis of 40% to the public, 40 and uh, 60, sorry, 60 percent to the public and 40 percent to the board. So that would mean that you know the public have a large majority of say as to who is actually going to be uh, selected for the award based on the number of votes that they get in. That is the whole reason we allow uh, the public vote, to give the public the opportunity to vote. It doesn't mean patient Malco or whomever else has received numerous nominations will win all those categories based on their nominations. No, they will win based on voting. So we urge every single artist who has been notified of their nominations, get your fans to vote, let your fans show you the support you need and you deserve. I mean, we want to congratulate everyone that's been nominated anyway, because it's great to get a nomination and recognition for your work. But, you know, to get the award, get your fans to know to vote for you and share it with your fans so they're aware of your nominations so they can vote for you. The more you vote, the more you win. It's really that uh okay okay you know um from now to uh, the awards itself is coming on on um october 6th and uh from the last it's year at, yeah at the lunch year in ghana i spoke with uh, the president alodia and he said last year we had a lot of challenges talking about visa issues for you know the artists to um fly all the way from ghana to uk from now till october what are we doing in terms of you know resources uh to get the art artists on board or, uh, or, uh, or back to uk on time and all that every artist who's been nominated for this year's awards program has been notified um therefore any artist that has expressed interest as we openly um informed uh, at the at the press launch in, at the Arata Hotel. We openly confirmed that we are able and we're prepared to support um, through the support of documentation to those individuals that have been nominated that want to fly and to share the experience of the award. So every single nominee has been notified by email to advise them of their nomination and also we encourage anyone that wants to uh, join us at this year's award ceremony to get in touch and the process is required to support them will then be taken as necessary but they all have been notified we've had interest from a select few artists and we're in a process of supporting them however we can so they can share the experience of this year's awards with us in the uk Wow, interesting. But it's not obligatory. We're not. Uh, we're not saying everyone has to. We said if you would like to, we we will do whatever we can to support you to do so. Uh, interestingly, thirty-one categories, and um, I can say uh, confidently that you know the Ghanaians, the um, artists based in Ghana, are the majority yes. that will be coming to that place. So, for example, if you have um, uh, Kitty. Oh uh, yeah, who will be coming? And uh, he have to come with a lot of team. Does it mean you guys are going to you know restrict the number of uh, uh, management team that the artist will come with? I'm sorry, the line is very bad. Can you repeat that again? Yeah, I'm asking if for, uh, we are talking about 31 categories here, and the artist base yes. in Ghana are more. So, for example. Uh, someone from Lakes Entertainment, let me say Kwame Eugene. When Kwame Eugene is coming, he has to come with his management team. Since there are many, are you going to restrict them and are you going to tell them the number of team uh, members they have to move with into uh, the ceremony? No, that's something that the board will have to discuss, which is the Ghana Music Awards UK uh, board. And also that's something that the board will need to discuss with the artists and the artist management. Um, one thing I have to make clear is with the uh, this awards program, 
is to recognise what these musicians and the great works that they've done, you know, internationally, not just nationally for Ghana, but also globally. So therefore, whatever we can do to support them, to share this experience quite rightfully with us in the UK, we will do so. Any technicalities with regards to um, being in the UK and so forth related to the award, that's something that is between the board, the artists and the management. But one thing that is clear then is that the Ghana Music Awards UK team will do everything we can to support each artist and we're already recognising them through the provision of this award. So whether they're limitations or not, it's something that will be discussed, but we will do our absolute best to support every single artist, management, nominee and so forth. Oh, okay. Um, not to compare, I don't like comparison, but then um, music, Ghana Music Awards, uh, in Ghana here, Ghana Music Awards in Ghana here itself, the Ghana Music Awards in Ghana here. For example, when there is an upcoming artist and the artist is doing very well, when the awards come in, everyone will be like, This guy stands a chance of winning something, uh, an award. But at the end of the day, uh, you go, we goes into the award, and the person does not win anything. Uh, from that, then you will see the artist fumbling. It becomes very difficult for the artist to fly. I can uh, set an example of Papi Kodo and Medica. They were good artists who were coming on board. They were, their, their songs were everywhere across Ghana. But then after they were not able to win award in the Ghana Music Awards, it affected them. Are we going to do something similar from the Ghana Music Awards UK? When the artists have... Um, chan- uh-huh. Continue. First of all, I need to make two things clear. Number one... Ghana Music Awards and Ghana Music Awards UK are two different entities. Yeah. So therefore, whatever strategies, whatever policies mm-hmm. that they have or procedures they have in place, does not necessarily mean we have the same. We are in the same industry, but we're two different markets. Ghana Music Awards is in Ghanaian market. Ghana Music Awards UK is in the UK market. Therefore, we have to operate based on the requirements of each market. Now, secondly, in terms of whether if an artist doesn't win an award, is that going to affect their career? I don't see why not winning an award affects our career. Winning or winning an award should not determine whether a career rises or decreases, no. It really depends on the artist and how they manage their career. What we are doing, the objective of Ghana Music Awards is not for anyone's career to go bad, no. It's actually to recognize them for the great work that they're doing. So therefore, if an artist doesn't win an award, it doesn't mean they're not doing great work. They've been recognized with a nomination, first of all, and it just means to encourage them to work in different ways. You know, but we appreciate all our nominees. We appreciate all our artists, which is why we have the Ghana Music Awards UK to show them our appreciation for all the hard work they do for Ghana and globally. This is a third edition. Whenever someone goes to an award ceremony, for example, the big ones, the Grammys and the BETs, when they win those kind of awards, you know, it, bo- it boosts them their confidence and then actually puts them. On the map there, when you have, when you have been able to win Ghana Music Awards UK, what does it come with? It comes in the board. It comes in the board to say, you know, thank you for your great work, you know, and that we appreciate you, your fans appreciate you. You know, your country appreciates you for what you're doing in promoting music of Ghanaian origin internationally. That's what it comes with, you know. So it comes with that sincere gratitude of that award recognition. I, I, I am even talking about, you know, after winning this uh, award, you know, you get the, they give you the award. But then after that, as an artist, what should you do with this award? You know, see, these are some of the things I think you organizers can you know, help in advising the artists. Some of the artists get these awards and they think that is the end of the world. Meanwhile, they can do something better with it. Uh-huh. So I think... For, so you're saying, for, what do you do with... After they have... After you guys have been able to, you know, after the nominations and all that and the uh, uh, artist A or artist B win a certain award. Now... What, what should be the way forward for the artist? 
I mean, artists' management and their strategies is not something that they discuss with Ghana Music Awards, you know. Whatever way forward an artist wants to take, that is down to the artist strategy and also their management strategy for that individual artist. Where we come in is in recognizing what they give us, what they produce out of their strategy. And that's what we do. We come in and recognize and reward them for it. So in terms of the strategy as to what an individual artist or management wants to do with the award, that's really down to that artist and that management's prerogative. But what we say is, through everything you've decided to do with this award, we are we are recognizing you and we will be we're rewarding you through this award, you know? So that's what it is, really. Okay. We have the award coming on of the 6th of October. We have a lot of big artists on that uh, uh, in, in the nominations. We have Satawale there. We have Stone Boy there. We have Samini there. Um, uh, Regian Bole in UK. We have lots, lots of that. I can mention and mention, mention. Who is frontlining the. Uh, 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 who are the artists that are going to perform on the day? And who will frontline it? Follow us and you will find out. That's all I have to say. Social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, website. Follow us, GH Music Awards UK. Everything that we do, we are open to everyone. Follow us and as that time comes, you will get that information. So, so it means, as it stands now, we have not settled on the artists that are going to perform on the night. No, there have been artist communications. Of course, there's been artist communications. So, 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 ca can we know? Can we know some of the names? Make sure. ca can can we know some of the names? No. Some of the artists. No. Yeah, you will certainly know the artist details. Follow us on YouTube. Follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram, and you will know who they are. We're very much engaged with all our audiences, so do stay in touch, stay connected with us, and you will be really and truly, if you're connected, you will be the first to know on all our social media platforms. Everything comes out firstly on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, so follow us. That's what I recommend. So, so, um, how uh, are we going to get uh, get another um, artist from outside Ghana who will perform on the day, on the night? Oh, you mean a uh, British artist? Another artist from Ghana. Any artist oh, yeah, who is outside Ghana who is going to perform on the night? Yeah, we, I mean, last year we had a lot of international artists um, outside of the UK and a lot of Ghanaian artists perform. Um, as with the first edition of the awards program, I mean, we had Stone Boy perform at the first annual Ghana Music Awards. We had Barry Sydney, Sharif Agunu at last year's awards, alongside uh, various other prominent artists and UK artists. So we certainly won't disappoint you this year with performances. <laughs> oh, okay. So how much will I know the price of the ticket before you get into um, the uh, podium or the arena for um, the award ceremony? Yes, so currently we have three ticket types available. You have your early bird ticket, which is going to run out very soon. All our tickets are available on shoes.com. That's S-H-O-O-B-S dot mm -hmm. com. So if you go on shoes, you can purchase your tickets there. The tickets start from £20 from your standard ticket. You've got VIP tickets at £40 and VVIP tickets, which comes with free drinks, free complimentary uh, welcome drinks on the night and the VIP table and so forth. All this is available um, for you to purchase, which you can purchase online. So, yes, our tickets, if you go on Instagram or on Facebook, we have links where you can also get tickets from. So it's all available at your fingertips. So you go ahead and purchase tickets online or join us on social media and you can get tickets there too. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Tracy Frankville, consultant of Ghana Music Awards UK. Thanks very much for speaking to us live on SVTV Africa. You know what? I just want to say thank you so much for having us and also... Uh, 
great work that you guys are doing. We really, really appreciate that. You know, also for you, SDTV as a media partner. And, you know, I'm just going to take one minute because it's important that we recognize that we're supporting each other here um, in the industry, we're all in the same industry. So, therefore, it's only right that I say, I say thanks to all our other media partners. So, you've got yourself, SDTV. Thank you okay. as a media partner. Okay. Uh, you've got Flash Africa. You've got NATV. We've got Ben TV. Okay. Uh, Box Africa. We just want to say thank you to all our media partners and yeah. also our sponsors. So hopefully we'll speak again. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining us. But but on the day on the on the day of the event, we are going to call you. On the day of the event. Um, we are going to take a live coverage on that, so everything is sorted out. Yes, that's wonderful. We look forward to it. Feel free to call us and contact us anytime. All right, all right. Thanks very much, Tracy. Thanks, all right, sir. that was Tracy Frankville live from uh, United Kingdom, UK. You know, who has been able to give us their updates on um, what and what are going to happen on the day that is um, that's October sixth. Uh, where Ghana uh, Music Awards UK will be happening and you know I've gone through some of the uh, nominations for you and you know you just have to follow them on their so all social media platforms and then follow them on their website and make sure you vote for your artist so that your artist will be able to get an award in this particular and if you don't vote for your artist and another artist win and you think like the person does not deserve it bruh where are your home so you have to vote and vote and vote and vote and vote and vote and vote for your artist so that your artist will get a chance uh, of winning this particular one so uh this is svtv chat let's go for a quick break when we come back um when we come back we'll come back with an interview with um diana hamilton a gospel musician live on svtv africa my name once again evans you can call me chief i i'm out for now my name is Moisha Budong. Keep watching SVTV Africa because I love watching it. <laughs> 